Welcome everybody to this tutorial. This is a technical tutorial on Ruby and Rails. How to download Ruby and Ruby and Rails in your computer uh, and get that done into your Windows environment. So the first thing I gotta show you is uh, my blog here, Stereo1.tk. You can go there. Here's my channel, a YouTube, Stereo007. A lot of tutorials going out there. Uh, first thing that we need to do is installing the Ruby installer for Windows uh, okay we need the other thing called WAM server uh, which is for Apache, PHP, MySQL uh, for Windows and we need uh, the rail installer packages so we can download Ruby, Rails, Bundler, Git, SQLite and DevKit uh, we need a, a tool for managing the code and the folders and uh, IDE for our development environment. Uh, so we gotta use Aptana and finally we need the Ruby gems to install it in the Windows. So the first thing if you go to the CMD and try type Ruby dash virgin you cannot see anything because we don't have Ruby. So in order to do that, we need to go to uh, Ruby uh, Installer, Rails Installer. You can choose one of these, but since the Rails Installer has all the packages that we need, we gotta use the Rails Installer. So you just download the kit. Okay, get it done. After that, go to the Aptana. Download the Aptana. Uh, you can download it for free. And we also gotta download the WAMP server and finally we gotta go to the Ruby gems so after you get all that done uh, we can see here we got the Aptana Studio it's about 146 megabyte and we got the the Ruby installer the Rails installer we're gonna use these two so the first thing we need to set up the Rails uh, and the Ruby and Rails and all that stuff in just one package so we hit in Rails on the installer we click next accept the license and we download that into C Rails in the installer okay wait while is that downloading we can uh, set up the WAMP server so I already downloaded the WAMP server but before I run the WAMP server I need to shut down the uh, the Windows server so let me shut down the Windows server. We type IIS reset dash stop. So in this way we kill the Windows server and we can after that run easily the WAMP server. So let me run the WAMP server. WAMP. Okay, start the WAMP. So here in the right corner of your screen you can see the WAMP server running. So we gotta use the WAMP server because we wanna use uh, the P the MySQL which is included in the WAMP server package so in order to run it okay you can start all services we can see the MySQL here we need the MySQL file to run our to be in our uh, Rails package so we go to the WAMP server uh, bin file uh, MySQL 5.5 uh, we can see uh, I think on the library we have a file called lib mysql so we gotta copy this and go to the C uh, rails installer ruby uh, we go to the bin file and we have lib and bin file so you need to paste this file in the bin file okay so paste it here okay and as you can see here we finished downloading the the rails installer so here you configure the git and uh, secure shell when installation has completed you, we need to configure this so just click finish and configure with your name so let me put my name and the email address okay in this way uh, okay in this way we are uh, getting the public key so it's it's you know it's saying here that this public key is automatically 
copy it to uh, your clipboard so we can come to the notepad and paste the public key here and we can use it so anyway you, you can save it but there's a way that we can you know generate this public key again so don't care about it so now let me test about Ruby is it installed in the PC we type Ruby version as you can see here we got Ruby 1.9 Point three. Uh, let me check for Rails. Uh, Rails dash V. So we got Rails three point two point one, and we gotta check for Jim uh, dash V. So we got one point eight sixteen. So everything is done. We're ready to go with uh, Ruby and Rails. We can uh, type something for testing. Puts welcome to okay so here we can see it's not recognized as an internal anyway we just want to test uh, this in RRP so we want the RRP type 6 plus 6 we got 12 so everything is running so we, we gotta use uh, Ruby inside Aptana Studio so we need, we need to download the Aptana Studio uh, 3 so after you download it, you got this file, and we just click on the Aptana Studio 3 setup. Okay. Uh, this is uh, similar to Eclipse, but it's specially for Ruby and PHP. But it's a great one of the greatest IDE for developing Ruby on the web. So uh, first thing we hit in the Aptana Studio. Uh, we got this uh, installation window. I agree. See, see, okay. So we need to um, specify the location for this uh, program. So let me download this to program files. Uh, my computer. See, program files. Okay. Type here. Aptana Studio. Okay. Type next, next, okay, next, install. Okay, in this way we are downloading the Aptana Studio to the computer. So it's completed. Click next, close. And here we got the Aptana Studio on the desktop. Just double click on it. We got Aptana Studio 3 for the first running time. So here we can choose the workspace. So you know when you choose, uh, when we downloaded the WAMP server, we downloaded to uh, the C. Here we can see the WAMP server. So I need to make the www uh, w folder as my workstation or my workspace. So um, I can go browse uh, to let me go to the computer C uh, WAMP server WW file to be my work space so use this as default and do not don't ask me again okay now we are ready to create in the first app using Ruby and, and Rails so we can create now a Rails application so low access low the access come on I'm using a vast antivirus um, so uh, we are in the main uh, Eclipse or Aptana environment so we can now create a new project so if you hit uh, here new uh, we can see we can create the Ruby project uh, Rails project so I'm gonna hit and click Rails project here we type the name so let me say Ahmed app use standard Rails generator okay finish so as you can see here we are creating the the folders and the files for our project 
and to the left you can see all the files and libraries included in our project so and after we finish executing we run bundle install each time we make change we need to bundle install uh, we can create this project manually by saying rails uh, new and we give it the project name so here this requires some time as you can see here index in Ruby environment so as you can see here we finish uh, downloading everything and we are ready to develop our first Ruby on Rails application uh, so in order to run this program uh, we need to run the gym file uh, as you can see here so let us run the first app uh, we run into the Firefox we, we hit run okay but before we do that let me just say bundle on the store okay in order to run this the server and after this we can run click here run server we need to run the server and after that we can uh, run the application so it's saying that this is the our server and we can go to the server right now but we have this Windows security alert a low access okay and now we can run the server in order to run the server uh, we need to go type localhost and you type the port number 3000 so run this we gotta go to the server as you can see here we are now on the server you can uh, about your application environment we can see the environment that we are running on here Ruby versions 1.93 uh, the Ruby James is 1.9 1.8 and we have the rack the rails JavaScript uh, active record which is the the model that we are running on the active back version we mean by active back is the controller and the uh, the view that we're running at uh, the active resource here uh, you know all the information related to our uh, environment here we're talking about the middleware and we talk about the dispatcher the remote uh, you know all the the environment variables here okay so we are in the development stage notice here we have uh, three stages development test and reduction stage so we are running on SQLite 3 as a database uh, we can go to the configuration file uh, the database we can see here it's SQLite you can change this into MySQL 2 and whatever your data source you can change it uh, the routes uh, here we can change the default startup page uh, okay uh, we are running on the main page uh, it's it's the public page so um, if you go app views layout okay here we got this HTML page okay so we can change this later on say use rail generate to create your uh, your uh, controller and the control will generate the view so uh, as you can see here we can use the rake to create the database okay but I don't want to go in depth in, uh, in that I just showed you how to make your first rails application and running that 
into the Eptana Studio. In the next tutorial, we gotta make uh, our first page and using controller and using the MVC design pattern uh, with Ruby and Rails. So I hope you enjoy this um, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks.